What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. We're gonna to be installing this super pin into my Mark 7 GTI. So my friends over at Diesel Geek uh, sent me this. I made some videos before talking about how bad the transmission and the shifter is in the GTI. Uh, I went, ended up going and putting the Audi OEM short shifter in there, which tightened up a lot. You guys can watch that other video up here. But somebody, one of you guys recommended the super pin from Diesel Geek. So I looked it up, reached out to them. They sent me one. Thank you guys for sending me one of these. We're gonna do a review on it. We're gonna install it. We're gonna see just how much better it's gonna make the shifter in the GTI. You get the super pin, uh, you get a sticker with it, and then you get a screw and a couple washers. Uh, now, what this is gonna be doing is replacing a plastic pin that's in there that the tolerances aren't, the tolerances on the stock one are not very tight, whereas this is gonna get rid of a lot of the wiggle and the shake in the shifter and hopefully give us a little bit more notchiness and tightness. We need to rip apart the center console. That's gonna be the hardest part of this that's probably gonna take the most time. I'm not gonna bore you with a step-by-step -step tutorial, but we'll make quick updates here and there of, of us taking it out and then we'll see just how good this thing is. All right guys, so we're gonna basically go through the, the gears here and see there's still a little bit of slop. That's in first gear. Bring the second, a little bit of slop. The middle gears are the ones that have the most slop as you can see there. We'll just do this for a little bit of comparison. We can see just how much, how big of a difference this is gonna make. And that was that was that was a mess. <laughs> a uh, mess. Here's a note. Uh, there's definitely a difference between either the Golf R's and the GTI's or 2017 versus 2015 <laughs> because the one video was not at all how our, this one's set up. Guys, so we have the entire center console out. Uh, it took us probably about like 30, 40 minutes to get out. Uh, just trying to be careful and make sure that we didn't break anything. Uh, but you guys can see inside the car here. Me and Teddy were saying that this looks like an old Honda Civic or something like that. Like how this like just ends right here and it looks really cool. And we were debating on just leaving it like this, but probably not the best idea in the world. Um, anyways, I think the process is gonna go a lot quicker uh, as soon as we get boot off of the shifter and we can slip this pin in and see how well it works. I feel like I need to put this in the video. These the cameras are gonna like blow up or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at the point where we are going to remove this plastic pin that's in here. Uh, it's basically take a pair of needle nose pliers, clip those in and it should pull right out. The guys at Diesel Geek did say that these things have such tight tolerances that it's sometimes you might have to take a little bit of sandpaper, really fine sandpaper and just hit it real quick if you guys get one of these and you have some issues. But let's pop this out, pop this one in. Yeah. Lube in there. All right, guys, there is the stock one. Um, there is, oh, you can, you can see this one's like thicker, heavier. Uh, hopefully, this is gonna do the job. We're gonna see here. So super simple, I mean, the act of replacing this is a 30 second job, maybe a minute, but the act of taking this all apart, that's where they get you. But it's probably gonna worth it, be worth it, I hope. There is some lube on this. I might wanna throw some of that on this. Hopefully this just goes in and I don't have to try and do what he said. Yeah, I might have to. It's getting there, but... Is there like a certain channel it has to go into? I don't know. It has to go on the Medic Magic channel. <laughs> Because like he he specifically said if you have trouble just try and sand it down a little bit sand what the plastic or the bolt 
to the bowl itself, you just hit it with some real fine sandpaper. Ah, uh, well then just do that. It's probably a fine line where you don't want to get it too sloppy. Yeah. I yeah. could probably hit it with a hammer or something. I mean, it's your car. You do whatever you want. <laughs> Smack it, he says. You think this is a good idea? No, call Diesel Geek. He told me if it doesn't work, just sand it, but. Oh, there she goes. So the entire car is back together. I'm gonna give you some shots here. We're gonna compare the old shots and then we're gonna go out to Teddy's car and we're gonna look at what a stock GTI looks like versus the setup with the Super Pin and the Audi short shifter that's on my car. So here, this is first gear. So first gear, this is in gear. Oh, this is in gear. There we go. Negligible amounts of movement. Very, very firm. Now second, it's got a little bit more, not too bad. Third, still got a little bit. Well, that's tight. Look at that. That's like not even moving at all. There's literally no slot. You see that? Yeah, it, it's actually a lot better than we originally like, thought. Like, look at that. Yeah. Like, that's the entire thing moving. We'll go a little bit that way, but same way that way. Yeah, I mean, when I push this, it's it's the whole thing nice yeah, and tight. There's a little bit, it's like these middle gears have more, but anyways. When it comes to shifter slot, Medic Magic's your guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the GTI, it's your car for shifter slot. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go take a look at Teddy's car and see what is shaking. All right, give us a, put it in first and give us the finger test. This is first. Oh man, that's a lot of slop, Teddy. Yeah, that's not good. Third's not bad, but still a lot. And all I have is the shifter bushings that go up on the transmission. Those ones. Yeah. Oh, this isn't stock? No. Well, not pretty much though. You said this was stock. Pretty much. The, just the rubber bushings on the end links. That's all I have. Oh yeah. I mean, when you compare that to what you have, yeah, there's a big difference. <laughs> you know what? I just somehow got to get rid of all this side play. I'm too worried about driving my car. I'm not worried about that. Wreck this thing up, All right, guys, man. so you saw that. Uh, would I recommend it? Yes. Uh, it's not that expensive. I'll put a link to the Super Pin down in the description. Make sure you guys check them out. Thank you to Diesel Geeks again. And maybe together we can all fix our sloppy GTI transmissions. So. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. Well, that telephoto in there, I mean, you gotta have that 50. And it'll get you right in there where you gotta be.